Welcome back to Trends and Friends, y'all. It is Motivational Monday, and I'm here with Yasmin Wizar from the Weight Management Clinic. She's one of Dr. Banks' senior doctoral students. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for being on the show. I know this is your second time, is that right? Yes, thank <laughs> you for having me. So she's very well known. She knows what she's doing, so we can trust her, everybody. <laughs> so I want to talk about stress mm -hmm. in our heart. Mm -hmm. A lot of us have stressors in our life, whether it be work, family, kids, activities, whatever we may have. There's, I feel like there's a little bit of stress in our everyday lives, no matter what it is. Yes, and actually we want a little bit of stress in our lives. You know, stress can actually serve a very protective function for us. Uh, in the face of a dangerous moment, the stress response can uh, keep us safe. If we're coming up in a, an important event, such as a presentation or a test, a little bit of stress can actually motivate us to prepare adequately. But, you know, it's also impossible to avoid stress completely. <laughs> Uh, it really only starts becoming a problem when stress is there for a very long and prolonged period of time. At that point, it starts really affecting your health. Wow, I would have never thought even just a little bit of stress in our lives was healthy. Mm -hmm. I, I did not know that. Well, think <laughs> about it like this. If you're about to take a test and you're not stressed at all about it, you may not prepare adequately. And then, you know, the outcome could be that you don't do well on the test or that you fail. So a little bit of stress will motivate you to engage in behaviors that will actually serve a good function. Our bodies are designed to take short bursts of stress. We can handle that. But when the stress response keeps happening over and over and over, at that point, it really starts to take a big wear and tear on our body, especially our cardi cardiovascular health. Wow. So how can people know what is the right amount of stress in our lives? Is there any right or wrong answer to that? You don't want your stress to be what we call chronic stress, stress that is lasting for weeks or even months. And this can happen whenever you undergo a very stressful event or even work-related stress like you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. That sort of stress really will start affecting your, your body quite severely. In fact, there was a study published by Columbia's Medical School a few years back that said that living with chronic stress increases your chance of um, having a heart attack by 27%, wow. uh, which is the equivalent basically of smoking five cigarettes a day. So oh yeah, it's not really something that we can afford to, to wave off. Stress is a part of life, but you don't want to get that stress to a point where it's very overwhelming and severe. So that was my next question is mm -hmm. stress with the heart. Mm -hmm. I know that takes a toll, you know, heart attack, strokes, things like that. So mm -hmm. how do we move forward from that or how do we protect our hearts with stress? Mm -hmm. So you want to engage in what I call good stress management techniques. And I would like to basically say there's two types of stress prevention techniques that you can employ. There's preventing stress and then there's unloading stress. So preventing stress is kind of like it sounds, doing things that will avoid the stress from beginning in the first place. And this can be things such as working maybe on your organizational skills, on your time management skills, maybe working on becoming more assertive in the workplace or even in your personal life, setting healthy boundaries. These sort of things actually create an environment where you don't let stress creep in as much. Um, but of course, sometimes we can't avoid that, and that's where the stress unloading techniques comes in. Mm -hmm. Those are, when stress is already present, the golden shifts to trying to mitigate the effect that stress can have. And there's different techniques for that. You can do deep breathing exercises, you can exercise, uh, you can turn to prayer or meditation, or you can engage in a pleasant activity that you know improves your mood and calms you down. So just anything that we can maybe take that stress away from and, you know, meditating or praying, anything like that shouldn't mm -hmm. cause a stress. No, it should be actually something that puts you in a better state of mind to be mindful, to focus on the moment and to just uh, take you out of the stressful mindset into a more proactive, calm mindset. Well, thank you so much. And where can people find more about the, the weight management clinic as well? Uh, you can go to our website, which is NMHI at TTU and we have a lot of resources there for people uh, looking for that sort of help. Awesome, well thank you so much and thank you for being here again. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Of course.